The movie Assassination Classroom depicts the nearing end of the world as a whole class works hard to eliminate the looming danger, a yellow alien octopus that they named Coruscant. When a chunk of the moon got taken away, the government got shaken and went into panic. The military attempted to eliminate a yellow octopus and save Earth from becoming like the moon, which the alien destroyed, but to no avail. The yellow alien was too strong and too fast. No one can keep up with him. But the aliens compromised with the government and promised not to destroy Earth until March. The alien also requested to teach Class 3E at Kanigigao-ka Middle School until March so that Class 3E could assassinate him. If the class manages to kill him, they will be paid 10 billion yen, but if they aren't able to kill him until March, he will destroy the Earth. The students are going to use BB pellets and knives that the Ministry of Defense created for them to assassinate the Yellow Octopus. Karasuma, from the Ministry of Defense, explained everything to the students, and he also became an assistant firm teacher for Class 3E, and he is helping the students by training them. Alongside Karasuma, there's also a female teacher named Irina Yerovich. She is a skilled assassin hired to eliminate Korosensa, but when she failed her task and lost to Korosensa, she got hired to become Class 3E's English teacher instead. And she would also be helping them assassinate Korosensa. Every day, the students would be given the time to assassinate Korosensa in their own ways, but during class, the students are listening well and studying hard. Class 3E, also known as the end class, is the only class located at the top of a hill and is known as the loser class among all classes in Kanigigao-ka Middle School. They are those who failed or got into trouble, got put in the worst class, and were isolated from the rest of the school body so as not to make the whole school look bad. It was a good thing, as Korosensa was supposed to be hidden from the whole world to avoid global panic. One day, Nagisa was approached by three of his classmates, Terasaka, Yoshida, and Muramatsu. Compared to his classmates, Nagisa is more on the delicate side and is not that strong. But Nagisa is smart and very observant, so in his own way, he is helping the class by writing down his observations about Korosensa that might be of help to them someday. And with Nagisa's gentle personality, he would be a huge help for the trio's plan. During class, Nagisa raised his hand and approached Korosensa. When he reached Korosensa, he swung the knife he was hiding behind his paper into Korosensa. But his hand was caught by Korosensa. In Korosensa's confusion, Nagisa hugged him, and when he gently pushed Nagisa back, he saw a grenade hidden inside Nagisa's uniform. The grenade exploded, and the trio was excited, thinking that they had finally killed Korosensa. Meanwhile, the other classmates weren't that happy, as Nagisa got hurt in the process. The trio told them not to worry, as the grenade was just a toy that they filled up with their anti-teacher pellets. Yoshida explained that he modified the toy grenade and put gunpowder in it to make it explode. It might kill Korosensa, but it wouldn't kill Nagisa. Kayano noticed something weird wrapped around Nagisa, and Muramatsu pulled on it. The class was shocked when they heard Korosensa's voice, and when they looked up, they saw him looking perfectly fine. Korosensa explained that he sheds his skin once a month. His old skin took all the damage, and he just shed it right after. Korosensa said that shedding skin is his once a month ace. Then Korosensa called the trio's names, his face literally red in anger. Korosensa was mad that the trio shamelessly planned something dangerous like that. It might not have killed Nagisa, but that doesn't change the fact that he was harmed, and it made Korosensa angry that they didn't even think about Nagisa's well-being before making him put himself in danger like that. After reprimanding the whole class, Korosensa patted Nagisa's head and advised him not to do it again before continuing the class. The next day, Karasuma was walking when he saw Class 3E shooting at Korosensa, who was tangled in a net. Korosensa escaped from the net and went above the roof childishly doubling the students' homework. They then noticed a guy approaching them. The guy is Karma, a smart student who got into Class 3E for beating up other students. Karma is known for being good at fighting and using foul play. For the next few days, Karma did anything to beat Korosensa, but they would always fail. One day, Nagisa saw Karma sitting by the cliff. Karma wanted to know what kind of teacher Korosensa is. So when Korosensa approached the two of them, he pulled out his gun and jumped off the cliff. As he was falling, he remembered what happened a year ago, when he defended a Class E student from the bullies, and ended up getting betrayed by the teacher he once trusted so much. And when he opened his eyes, he wondered if Korosensa was that kind of teacher or if he was going to let himself be assassinated just to protect his student. Karma got his answer when Korosensa jumped down and created a spider web out of his tentacles to catch him. In the Ministry of Defense, Karasuma and his superior were talking about Korosensa, and there, Karasuma learned that they were going to have transfer students. The first transfer student is a female robot designed to shoot at Korosensa anytime, with four Gatling guns and two machine guns. The whole class was amazed at the robot, 
but that amazement turned to annoyance as the robot did nothing but shoot at Korosensa even in the middle of the class, and they would end up always cleaning up after the robot. So the next day, they chained the robot to stop her from using her guns again. After class, Korosensa talked to the female robot and told her to learn how to get along with the other students. Since the girl is a robot, she, of course, doesn't know how to do that. So Korosensa gave her a lot of books that could teach her things about socializing. And for the whole night, the robot was absorbing everything in the books. The next day, the female robot used her artificial intelligence to create an app for herself so she could easily talk to her classmates whenever. And there were features in the app that could help her classmates in their assassinations. This helped her get along with her classmates, who gave her the name Ritsu. Then Ritsu said that there would be another transfer student. Korosensa arrived, and everyone went to their seats. When everyone was seated, the roof got destroyed as the transfer student entered through it. Then another guy wearing all white came into the room through the door. He introduced himself as Shiro, and Ritsu introduced the transfer student as Itona Hirobe. Itona called himself Korosensa's brother by blood and challenged the alien teacher to a fight. They formed a ring using the chairs, and as soon as the fight started, Itona had already cut one of Korosensa's limbs using his own tentacles. Everyone was surprised, while Korosensa was furious, knowing how Itona's tentacles were developed. The two octopuses started the competition, and Korosensa was losing. Korosensa shed his skin to avoid an attack, and this made him weaker as he shed his skin too early after he last did it. Seeing an opportunity, Itona attacked Korosensa again, but Korosensa took the anti-teacher knife from Nagisa's hand and used it to cut Itona's tentacles. He then wrapped his shedding around Itona and threw him out the window, and since Itona was out of the ring, he lost. Shiro carried Itona and left the school with the promise that Itona would be back again to beat Korosensa. After the class, Nagisa approached Korosensa, who was watering the plants. He asked Korosensa why he decided to teach class 3E, and Korosensa answered that he wanted to protect a promise that he made to someone. But Korosensa couldn't tell what promise that is. If he destroyed the earth, then knowing the truth would be useless. And if the class manages to kill him, they would find out the truth either way even if he didn't tell them. Then Korosensa suggested that they spend the weekends at school to study, calling it an assassination training camp. During the weekends, Korosensa used his insane speed to give each student's personal tutoring. Irina taught the class English, and Karasuma trained the students. After training the students, he then typed down his observations about the students. The next day, the end class had a new PE teacher named Takaoka, who seemed so fatherly. He gave the students food, and the whole class was so happy to have him as a new teacher. Karasuma and Korosensa watched through the window as the students and Takaoka were having fun. At night, Irina showed Karasuma two pictures of Takaoka with his subordinates. The pictures showed what kind of person Takaoka is. Takaoka is known to make his students feel like they could trust him and look up to him like a father, before he turns into a violent dictator who harms his students as a way of training and disciplining them. The next day, Takaoka was training the students hard, and the students were already having a hard time. Then Kenzaki stopped for a bit, as her sides were already hurting. Takaoka approached her, asking her if she was fine, and Kenzaki told him that she wanted Karasuma to be their teacher again, thinking that Takaoka would understand. But Takaoka didn't. He smacked Kenzaki and picked her up to punch her again, but his hand was stopped by Karasuma. Takaoka then challenged Karasuma to choose a student to fight with him. The student would use a real knife while he stayed barehanded. If the student wins, Takaoka would leave, but if the student loses, then Takaoka would stay as their PE teacher. Karasuma chose Nagisa, surprising everyone. Nagisa slowly approached Takaoka, looking so scared and feeble that Takaoka completely underestimated him. Seeing how relaxed Takaoka is, Nagisa easily puts the knife against his neck. Humiliated, Takaoka walked away as everyone else cheered. The next day, Korosensa came into the room with a swollen head, panicking over the rain, and Nagisa wrote it down. Okuda approached Korosensa, asking him to drink the poison she made for him, and everyone laughed at how direct she is. But Korosensa drank the poison anyway. The poison did nothing to Korosensa but turn him into a blank, white face. Korosensa offered to help Okuda with her poisons. But those poisons weren't actual poisons, they actually helped him power up. Okuda was upset that she got tricked by Korosensa, and the whole class started complaining about how hard it is to assassinate him. As a good teacher, Korosensa gathered the students outside. He told the students that they shouldn't only focus on the assassination and that they have to do well in their studies too. So in case they fail in assassinating him, the students would still be able to leave class 3E and become successful. To motivate the students to study, Korosensa told them that he would allow them to cut off some of his limbs if they passed the exams.
For the next few days, Korasensa helped the students by bringing them to places where they could gain first-hand experience and enhance their skills. After the exam, six students top the exams, which means that six students are allowed to cut a limb from Korasensa. During their summer vacation, the end class stayed at school to prepare for their assassination. Unbeknownst to them, Takaoka was lurking around and waiting for the right time to attack them. The day of the assassination came, and the end class went all out to assassinate Korasensa. Korasensa was shocked to see that the students were going to use water against him. The assassination began, and the six passing students shot six of his limbs. The rest of the class then showered him with water, caging him inside it. Korasensa couldn't see anything but water, and the next thing he knew, two students came through the water and shot him, causing a huge explosion. They realized that Korasensa had turned into a ball and was inside a crystallized exterior. It is Korasensa's absolute defense form, and nothing would work against him, not even the anti-teacher pellets. Suddenly, several students collapsed, and Takaoka broke through the wall with his men. He revealed that he had poisoned the students who collapsed. And in three days, they would die. He then showed two bottles of the antidotes that could cure the students. Takaoka negotiated with them, if they gave him Korasensa, he would give them the antidotes. Karasuma approached Nagisa, who was holding Korasensa, but the latter told them that the negotiation seemed off and that it was unlikely for Takaoka to give them the antidotes just like that. Suddenly, Itona appeared and attacked Nagisa and Karasuma. Karma pulled Nagisa away, and the two of them ran away as Itona chased them down. Irina and the other students brought Karasuma and the six students inside, helping them as best as they could. Meanwhile, Karma and Nagisa climbed up the radio tower, with Itona chasing them. Seeing as the sky was getting darker, Karma and Nagisa decided to distract Itona until the rain fell. When the rain started pouring down, Itona's tentacles went down, and Nagisa pulled them out of Itona's scalp. Karma went to where his other classmates were, while Nagisa went to Takaoka, who had captured Kayano. Nagisa bowed down in front of Takaoka, begging him to let go of Kayano and give them the antidote without taking Korasensa. But Takaoka just stepped on his head. Takaoka didn't realize that Nagisa was just distracting him while the others handled his men. Nagisa heard a sound coming from his phone, and he smiled, giving Takaoka a plastic. Takaoka assumed that Korasensa was inside the plastic, but then he realized that it was just a ball. Then the other students arrived, and Takaoka knew he'd been cornered. The end class won against Takaoka. The military arrived and took the students to the Ministry of Defense while they put Korasensa inside a cutting-edge shelter to blow him up without damaging anything else. Class 3E watched the video of Korasensa congratulating them for doing so well, and saying goodbye to them. They watched as the cutting-edge shelter blew up with Korasensa inside it. While the others are cheering, Class 3E students are all shedding tears. While Nagisa was crying, a yellow tentacle handed him a tissue, and when he turned to look, they saw Korasensa crying with them. Back in their classroom at the top of the hill, the assassination continued, but some things also changed, like Itona, who started attending the class. Korasensa remembered how he held a woman as she died in his arms. She was the woman who made him promise to teach the three E students. The class started, and Korasensa was happy that he was able to do just as he promised.